What's up guys? Let me invite you to a tennis alternate reality today. Just keep in mind that according to some rankings, tennis is the third most popular sport in the world. Some others say that it's lower, but it is almost always in the top 5. But let's imagine a completely different tour from the one we have today. Let's just dream for a little bit. This is your dream. dream. You are a tennis player, not the greatest champion of all time, not even a top 10, just a regular one. Let's say one of the top 200 or even 300. Loser. Loser. You are not spending around 30 weeks away from home playing around the world, staying in different hotels, some good and some bad ones. And some, to be honest, completely fucked up. Welcome to Hotel Transylvania! Actually, you play a lot of your matches back at home, on a court where you practice most of the time. And you know every line, every shade and every hole in it. I'm digging a hole! After the losses, you are not alone in your room, feeling completely useless and helpless. Suicide! Finally! No, your buddies are always with you and they really care, they always want you to win. Don't worry boy, I'll love you even if you don't win. You are not getting 300 euros for a week, you perform not that well, which is not even enough to cover your flight tickets. Not talking about other expenses. I can barely pay my bills. You get a decent salary instead and even bonuses for good performance. And I know it's gonna sound completely stupid, but when you get injured, you still get paid. No way! You are not paying for all your flights, extra hotel nights, food or streaming. Everything is covered and you have absolutely nothing to worry about, except your game. All expenses paid? You are not playing at these small challengers and ITFs, no one knows where, with empty stands and nobody's watching. No, you are actually one of the local stars in the city you live in. Maybe it's not the biggest one, but it's yours. This is my town. And when you play at home, your fans are always rooting for you. And because you are known in the city you live, you get special treatment in many places. VIP passes! You don't need to worry about your training process, practice courts, balls, hitting partners, fitness, physio, massages, and how to fit all that in your schedule. Brain explosion any second? No, instead you have a team of coaches who have everything under control, always good players to practice with, and you are not even paying for it. What? What? Yeah. I know, it doesn't sound like an alternate reality at all. It sounds like bull****. You are probably thinking right now, what the hell is this guy talking about? This is impossible. There is absolutely no way to achieve it. Are you crazy? My name is Ilya Marchenko I have been playing on tour for 15 years now. I'm not gonna recount all my career achievements, you can just google my name or watch my channel trailer. And I still believe that everything I've just said is possible. And here's how. I have an idea for my alternate reality. Club Tennis League. Yeah, I know that club tennis exists in some countries. But it's separate thing from ATP and ITF. Half official with different formats. And many players, including myself, prefer to play tournaments during those leagues. There is even one here in Slovakia where I live now, called Extraliga. Due to pandemic and no tournaments, I played it this year, although I'm not sure which part of it was extra, as we had no ball kids, no line umpires and even no chair umpires. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. Without full support from ATP and ITF and having a break for that purpose during our regular season, it's not gonna work. Oh, and pity pay from Djokovic of course. But I'm still not sure what they are doing or trying to do yet. Not talking about WTA today because I have no idea about it. Sorry sir, no clue. So in our imaginary world, all these associations and federations have come to an agreement and created something like FIFA in football. FITA. I know, very creative. And they have cancelled more than half of the tournaments, leaving space in the calendar only for slams and the Master Series. 13 tournaments, for that in total we need 19 weeks if you do it in a row. But of course you can't make it in a row. So club tennis could freely use around 25 weeks. 
Many national leagues were created overnight. Countries like the United States, France and Germany were ready to make a few divisions because too many clubs wanted to join. Tennis clubs from those richest tennis countries started to scout players for their teams. Trying to get the best ones, they are offering pretty good money. Money, 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 money. ATP 500s and 250s in the past were among those richest ones. Now they could use their budgets to create not one week event but a team. Yeah, we're a team. Huge market of free agents. Federer, Nadal and Djokovic signed huge contracts comparable to the ones in football. We are gonna be rich! But because every team should have from 6 to 10 players, even those biggest clubs had to sign some low rank players. Huge demand means better contracts. And of course a great opportunity for tennis managers. Hey, that's our client! Organization is on much higher level than on small challengers and futures. Everything is under ATP regulations. The staff are doing a great job because they are doing it not only once a year, but every week, so they are very professional and have a lot of experience. And because every team has their own crew, massage therapist, physio and a doctor, who are working with professional players full time, unlike in our reality when in many small tournaments the staff see professional athletes for the first time in their life and have no clue how to treat tennis injuries. So players are healthier and their careers are longer. My name will live on forever. You might wonder, where would those clubs get the money? Because it sounds like they need a lot. Well, that's obvious. Sponsors. Partner of today's video is Miami Strings. To get a 10% discount, use my link below. Or simply add the promo code Ilya Marchenko at the checkout. Now it's much easier to bring sponsors to tennis because we have a lot of regular spectators opposite from one week tournaments where you have to bring big names to make people watch. People are coming every week to support their local team. And it doesn't matter that their number one is not a top 10 player and not even local. They are not coming to just watch tennis. They come to cheer for their club, for their city or country if it's international. It's like playing Davis Cup every week. Canada. Oh, and when those big rivals come, like Paris against Marseille, or Barcelona against Madrid, or New York against Los Angeles, it's even worse than Davis Cup tie. Kill Mark, kill Mark, kill Mark. Let me ask you a question. If you have a company, who would you rather support and invest money for advertising? A Ukrainian player who is number 200 in the world? A tournament in a small city of Biela with a population of 44,000. Or a team who is representing a city and playing in the national championship. And perhaps have a chance to play in the Champions League of Tennis. I guess the answer is pretty clear. F*** that Ukrainian guy. And because there are so many countries and so many cities, almost every player from the top 1000 has a job with a decent salary and not practicing every day and playing for the whole season to count your material losses at the end of the year. What do you mean I'm broke? Like many players outside of 300 in our reality. And those unlucky ones who couldn't get a contract or just starting, they practice, play some prize money events and wait for that part of the season when we have a regular tournament so they can show their skills and get some points to sign better contracts in the future. Yep, all you gotta do is sign this contract. It might sound like a good idea to make it happen, even in our reality, especially with that part where you don't have to travel internationally every week. It would suit current times pretty good. But I have to disappoint you. I have to do this, okay? I have to. First, I'm pretty sure that many players will not agree with my thoughts. Second, and more importantly, Tournaments will definitely disagree to change the current system, especially Grand Slams and Masters. They are earning stable profit every year and they are afraid to take a risk and lose it. And because their influence in ATP is huge, we can't expect such drastic changes. And we know that's not gonna happen. And that's it for today. I hope it was entertaining. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. 
and see you next time.